my name is Ananya and I'm your host for another session of our very special RAW interviews. I'm joined today by Next to Nada, a Milton team based alt rock band. How are you guys? Great to have you guys here. Yeah, very good. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having us. That's yeah, very kind um, of you. Thank you. So I guess we could just start off by maybe if you guys could introduce each of yourselves and talk about um, what role you have in the band, um, just to get us started. Sure, yeah. Uh, I'm Tom. I'm um, one of the guitarists in the band. Um, I play a bit of lead guitar and a bit of rhythm guitar. Um, and I do a little bit of singing as well. And I'm one of the main songwriters at the moment in the band. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty much, my name's George. I do pretty much the same thing as Tom, except Tom is better at lead guitar. Yeah, effectively, I play guitar, I sing and do songwriting. Um, Jason and I play the drums. <laughs> So yeah, so next to Nada, you've got a couple of instrumental demos up on Spotify, um, SoundCloud, sorry, um, have had a listen to them, they sound great. Um, I think if you guys could also maybe tell us a little bit more about how the band got together, tell us your story, um, when did you guys uh, decide that you wanted to pursue this and what's your story been so far? So me and George work together um, and when I joined the firm, George was already there. So obviously we um, became kind of workmates and um, George said that he played guitar and uh, wrote songs and I pretty much said I did the same. Um, I had a band when I was at uni down in Bristol and wrote songs for that. And George uh, wrote songs when he was at uni in Warwick. And um, basically we just said, we'll have a jam sometime. And then uh, Jason, um, was a very old friend of mine basically was also saying let's go have a jam I'd like to kind of form a form a band and go do some stuff so we just um, joined up sort of late last year I think it must have been about like October November time just went to yeah, a practice was... room over in Milton Keynes and like shared the stuff that we'd already done with previous bands and had a jam really and it's gone from there and um, we've got some George has some more ideas for new songs and I've had ideas for other new songs so we kind of merged our existing ideas and then um and then like written new ones basically and that's kind of what's come of the demos that you've heard on soundcloud so they're not perfect in any like sense of the imagination but um they're we, we wanted to use this time that we've got off um to kind of put something together where we can just yeah. go i, I would also cool. like to add that the, the, the demos on there annoyingly because we can't record all together don't have jason's drumming on and Jason's a fantastic drummer. So it's really frustrating because we've got all these ideas and we can't have like the key part of the song on it at the moment. Yeah, oh. they're just like weird, weird MIDI drums that I tried to do like weird. <laughs> yeah, this it's, it's, it's all okay, but it's nowhere near what I want it to sound like. Yeah. So yeah, we've got some like bog standard recordings of like when we do a practice and some of those recordings I listen to and even though they're full of mistakes and like we're just jamming out it's like yeah that's more like what I want it to yeah. sound. <laughs> yeah I introduced you guys as um, alt rock but the next question is about how would you describe your song would you agree with that um, is it some or would you say um, that you're more something else what are your influences um, what do you draw on to make your music? Everything we've done sort of has I, I think aspects of a lot of stuff really and that, not not just trying to be a stereotypical yeah no we take our music from everywhere <laughs> like I, <laughs> I I think we just like to put a lot of different things together like especially I think the one thing that's consistent is we like a big heavy sort of bluesy riff mm. to like drive a song and then pretty much like even like Tom sent something over the other day which was like almost like a ska rhythm which was quite interesting <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of the uh, it's kind of the sound we're going for, just like um, kind of heavy, um, but not necessarily always fast. Um, I guess there's there's definitely some like punk influence. Um, yeah, definitely. But then there's but then there's sort of like real stick out songs on those demos, like one of mine, which is called "The Boss in Your Head," which is very like more Radiohead inspired, um, which is obviously like a lot of piano work and some synth work and. Um, long kind of drawn out vocals which is nice to experiment with and we think that that um will probably be able to work live again that's supposed to have like nice driving drums and kind of george over the top of the piano some real like overdriven reverb -y, like guitar effects to kind of bring the grunge back into it whereas at the moment it is quite like radiohead-esque so it's those that like the kind of but there's yeah, just some of the influences. It, it does feel like, like it should sit on Kid A or something. Yeah, yeah. It's something very, like 
very interesting as well with like Tom and George's contrasting styles because they both they both kind of came to the band with both very different with songs already written which were very different in genre yeah. and influence and so it's like how do we make those two meet in the middle um, and in the case of Tom stuff it was actually just what if we just play it faster that'll do yeah. <laughs> that seemed to work you know <laughs> it worked really well <laughs> it's, it's surprising how you can change songs just by yeah faster and louder that'll do <laughs> Could you guys also tell us a bit more about plans for the future? Um, what do you want to do post lockdown? Where you see the band going? We're allowed to go out and like gig and stuff like that. That's probably the first thing that we are going to do. Um, I've started like uh, looking at different venues and uh, like local venues that I've been to before in places like Milton Keynes and in Northampton and around there or anywhere even like sort of wider. Um, I know a few local bands who like I've got friends in other bands who might take us as a support or something like that but just see what happens really but again we probably like need a bass player before we start playing live that's the next kind of goal though and then if we can get ourselves like that will kind of iron out any of the things we're unsure about with um, what we've got I think when because obviously you, you, you play stuff live and like you get sort of natural changes when you play it live and some things you'll like some things you're going well that doesn't work and you're kind of get rid of bit, like bits or whatever and then hopefully if we can get ourselves like match ready then we might be in a position to go and record an EP at some point that'd be nice as well. Just before we all had to go into lockdown we had like two really good weeks where we were like oh okay we can probably do this and we're like right next few weeks let's gather and just no nope, nothing can't do it it was so frustrating so that's why we've just been pouring out stuff on SoundCloud pretty much. Yeah. I think the main thing is just as soon as we can play we're just gonna rush out and play as many places as we can what is your like ideal dream place that you want to be where you want to be or venue that you want to perform at yes that's, that's a good question um i want to be like ambitious definitely but i don't yeah. I'm, I'm not i'm not kind of out to like make a living out of it like at the end of the day i want to like have fun and entertain people um with with with, with what myself and with what george and whoever else has written um in terms of like the immediate future like i said like we want to get out start gigging in lo like local venues uh supporting other bands and um if we again if we get up to speed maybe having a go at some of like the competitions like the battle of the band stuff like that just having a go um i guess in terms of a venue like realistically at the moment which venue would i like to play i'd quite like to do um I'd quite like to do like mk11 or somewhere or the crawford arms in wolverton that'd be a good venue to play <laughs> Um, obviously like well-known but local venues I think that's a that's a realistic goal to start with and in yeah. terms of like being being paid for it as well like I'm not I'm not too fussed it's just a hobby it's like you just, you just have fun if you get something for it like that's that's also pretty cool but it's not like a priority at all we do just out there like I say to have fun just to entertain people more than anything I think I'd, I'd totally agree with that I mean ultimate like dream goal would just be enough to pay rent that'd be cool but yeah. <laughs> like as, aside from that yeah as tom said doing a local one in like mk11 anywhere that's sort of like a small local place with a little bit of a rep would be quite cool because you got a local crowd it's kind of small it's a bit cozier um yeah i think that's the goal eventually just to get some regular shows at that sort of place but we'll see i guess what's the best part of having something like this as a hobby um, what does it mean to you? Because it's not necessarily your priority. So what does this part of your life mean to you? What is it? What do you think you gain from it? And how, what would you say to other people to encourage them to get involved in music and maybe think about starting their own band? Like aside, aside from like, um, you know, letting off steam after, after work or at the weekend or whatever, it's, it's, it's a great way of, keeping like the juices flowing through your mind if you will it might, when you're kind of just being creative with something with your like you just pick your guitar up and you play and it's like oh I've you know I thought of this riff or I thought of these lyrics or um and a lot of our lyrics are kind of uh, I mean the 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 album if you like the eventual album from the stuff we've written um focuses around some like quite like critical stuff um not like sad but kind of like shouty like aggressive the system is wrong kind of lyrics <laughs> so it's good to kind of keep keep that kind of flowing around in your head yeah. um there are two things that i enjoy most from it one like the fun and the letting off the steam and the two and two like making progress 
in something outside of just like work or a profession, um, which I think is really good. In terms of what I'd say to people who want to start out, I'd basically say like, if you feel like it, um, you know, just go and pick a guitar. Even if you don't buy one, just go into a shop and like, just say, show me some chords and just have a play and play like a two grand Gibson Les Paul and just see if you like it. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd kind of agree with Tom on that. Like for, it's it's just kind of, I don't know. For, for me, I've, I've always like adored music is my main hobby. I like every time I find a new song or a new album or a new artist, like I want to read up on them and learn about them. Um, there's always music playing in my family growing up. So um, for me, it was just kind of like, I want to do that as well, have a crack at it. Um, and it's kind of like a lot of it, especially when you start out, it's really leading into what Tom was saying. It can be a bit disheartening because you have these ideas of like, oh, I've got this amazing thing in my head. And when you go to record it, because you're just starting out, it sounds a bit funny, whatever. But um, the more you keep at it, the better you get. And the less stuff you have at the start, it encourages you to be a bit more creative. So don't go out and buy everything. Just, you know, if you're looking to start out by a cheap audio interface um, or something, and whether it's an instrument, whether it's just playing around with vocals, just have, have, have a try. You'll get better at it. And in, um, the longer you do it, the more you'll figure out what, um, what sort of sound you like or want to go with. Um, and if, uh, yeah, aside from that, it's just a really cool creative outlet. It's really nice at the end of a stressful work day to just go and make really loud and comprehensible noise. <laughs> um, like e even if you come away from a practice with like not, <laughs> not like really coming up with anything, it's kind of nice just to play loudly with people. And it's really validating, um, especially from somebody who plays. Just... I just did stuff by myself for years to be able so to be able to actually play with some friends um, and like people to like have stuff to bounce ideas off people is really it's just pretty fun um i think that's, that's the one of the parts of like being in a band as well is that i mean i learn if i'm in a band with other guitarists i learn so much off the other guitarists as well like in my band at university our drummer wasn't actually a drummer he was like a guitarist in another band but he was just that sick at everything that he just played <laughs> drums in our band but oh, yeah i learned, I learned loads off him i learned loads of the covers band that i'm in i'm the youngest person in the covers band by about 15 years the other guitarist in the covers band is the lead guitarist he does all like the shredding solos and stuff so i learned loads from him i, I learned loads from george as well and like his kind of style of writing and the the, the kind of lead bits that he's written that i play and yeah it's, it's great you now playing with other mm. people is probably the best if you can um yeah like, it really yeah, does a band or just having a jam i mean that's when when we started out it wasn't like right we're we're in a band now as of this like second <laughs> and uh you know we're going to stay together for this many years and blah 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 it was just like let's have a jam and see if we like it and that's that's the most important thing yeah i was a thoroughly lazy guitarist until i started playing with tom and i realized i had to be better so. <laughs> i really love to come play in front of people um performing <laughs> if you can get the crowds have kind of done a fair share of gigs where it's just like you know my mum and one other person there but you know when you do play in front of a crowd it's a great experience and if anybody kind of wanted to experience that I think the easiest way is um open mic nights which are done in many a place and it's a great way to kind of get a feel for playing in front of an audience with other people uh, in the band as well it's cool to hear about how you guys got together what you guys have learned from each other and what you hope to do going forward um i want to wish you all the best keep doing what you're doing it sounds great and Thank you very yeah. much. a reminder that they're looking for a bass player so any bass players um please yes. <laughs> let them know make yourselves known but apart from that thank you so much for your time and yeah all the best